Hi folks, uh, this is the uh, door frame for a cool butt and you can see that I didn't create thermal breaks. In other words, um, I uh, isolated the outside from the inside as far as reinforcement for attaching things. And of course that's very significant when you're worried about cold loss or heat gain. So uh, now I'm going to show you the rest of the component. And here's a pile of stuff. All the steel reinforcement is in. You can see the zigzaggy things. Those are the corners. They're mitered. Uh, and then as we go up, those are common wall panels. And then those three little guys are roof panels. You can see how they're rabbited. And then at the very top uh, is the panel where the AC unit slides in. This pile of stuff is about six feet tall. And so by the time the, uh, the uh, panel uh, for the door goes on and the insulation for the floor, the whole pile will be roughly four by eight by eight feet. This piece is the piece that came out of the door rough opening for the cool bot and I'm going to slice it in half and make it uh, insulation for the floor so waste not want not boys and girls. Hector's just starting to put these floor joists together it only takes a couple of minutes. Here Hector's putting the skis on and that's to keep it up off the ground also to make the whole thing forkliftable. In a few minutes we'll turn it over and put the OSB on the deck and start putting some walls together. Here's our little floor all put together with the skis on and next we're gonna put the uh, OSB on but we're gonna prime it first. Putting the OSB down and we gave it a good coat of primer on the underside to protect it and you'll see how it gets uh, covered up uh, on the top portion of it. We're just about to set the wall back down but you can see that first layer of OSB has been fastened and also prime just in case down the road 10 years from now moisture etc etc. Hector's got the uh, first go around the track pretty much put on. We've left a rough opening here for a 2-8 door 34 inches. Everything else is complete. We can stack walls here in just a minute. Here's Hector and John just setting this first corner up and once they get a corner up they can just run with it. And he's Dropping that bow tie down, that'll lock the panels together. It's pretty scientific. If you're a graduate student or a master's or PhD, this ain't for you. If you're a country boy, you'll dig it. Setting the walls won't take more than probably 45 minutes, perhaps even less. And you can see the bow ties hold things in place. And oh, wind's a little bit gusty here today, but uh, not a big problem. Once we get the top track on, party's over so everything will be fine. This is the uh, really significant this uh, door section and I spent some time on it and you'll see that it has thermal breaks and, and of course in a refrigeration environment that's a big deal. Uh, and I, I glued the, the angle on so there wouldn't be cold loss or heat gain depending on how you look at it. John and Hector are just setting it now and I, I put that spreader in at the bottom right next to Hector's feet so it wouldn't twist it would be right where it was supposed to be uh, but this is way fun because this is the first time we've ever done one this way normally we do it in three pieces but in this case I took this big plug that came out of the inside and I made it into floor insulation so it all worked out well we've got one more piece to go last piece boys and girls but th this is what it takes, kids, uh, a little bit of finesse, because we build these things to be tight, so hopefully you can appreciate that. Here's Hector cutting a piece of 20-gauge uh, track, and you don't have to do it with a, uh, a cutoff wheel and a 4-inch grinder or whatever. Uh, you just have to know how to use a pair of snips. Guess what? The snips are cordless. Here's the last go around the track around the top. We build things to be tight. We could go undersize a wee bit and have it slip together, but that doesn't make any sense. Here's our little refrigerator with a coat of primer on it. I'm going to put another coat of primer on it and then some decent quality white low sheen enamel. Here we're putting the roof on. It's different than the way we normally do roofs for these little buildings. 
You can see we got our OSB spline in there. There you can see two panels set on a piece of OSB. Okay, here's that very last piece. Nice crisp morning here in sunny Tucson and Hector's got this place wired up and there's the AC unit and the cool bot hanging on the wall. You can see inside our little coolers up and running. Uh, temperature inside is 59, we just turned it on. We're insulating the floor and then we're gonna put some uh, OSB down that we put a coat of epoxy on and let the testing begin. We just flop the floor in and we're not going to screw it down because we really don't need to right now but uh, we're going to put these drums in and here's our little cool butt room reaper badness up and running and these drums are just for cubic volume and two of them each have, have uh, 60 gallons of water so oh gosh combined weight is about uh, 1400 pounds with the drums and the volume of the drums is about 120 cubic feet. This little refrigerator has about 577 cubic feet of space. So there's Hector's little explosion proof, waterproof light fixture. 